Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind drives away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous, for the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war breaks out against me, even then I will be confident. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though the oceans roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. Be not anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. For the Lord will not cast off forever, though he brings grief he will show compassion, so great is his unfailing love. His anger lasts only a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may remain for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. Because the Sovereign Lord helps me, I will not be disgraced. Therefore, I have set my face like a flint, and I know I will not be put to shame. We are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. We know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us, how will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? Who shall bring a charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who is he? who condemns. It is Christ who died, and furthermore is also risen, who is even at the right hand of God, who also makes intercession for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble, or hardship, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or danger, or sword? No. In all these things we are more than conquerors to him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither heights nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. He will make your righteousness shine like the dawn, and the justice of your cause like the noonday sun. 
Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. I am confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more important than food and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or stow away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you by worrying add a single hour to your life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you, that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothed the grass of the field which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you, you of little feet? So do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. The righteous will flourish like a palm tree. They will grow like a cedar of Lebanon planted in the house of the Lord. They will flourish in the courts of our God. They will bear fruit even in old age. They will stay fresh and green, proclaiming, The Lord is upright, He is my rock, and there is no wickedness in Him. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for His name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me, in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. Point out anything in me that offends you, and lead me along the path of everlasting life. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer.